ever used an epoxy and it just failed and it should have worked? I know I have and it's very disappointing when I've spent some time trying to make it repair using epoxy, waiting 24 hours for it to dry, and after all that effort and time, it just didn't hold. But in my own case, it's oftentimes my own fault because I didn't properly clean the surface or I didn't properly sand it first. I just got in too much of a hurry and unfortunately it just didn't work. So today what we're going to do is use some DEVCON, a really good epoxy, and we're going to apply this epoxy to several different types of surfaces. Some of those surfaces are properly prepared and some of them aren't, and we're going to find out firsthand once and for all whether it makes any difference if a surface is properly prepared. <laughs> We have sanded and clean, sanded and oily, rusty and oily, and just plain rusty. At the current time though, these two aren't yet oily. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and smear some oil on these surfaces. Now what I'm going to do is just show you what you might see most people do when they're trying to prepare a surface. Okay, this surface here looks pretty clean, right? So what I'm going to do is just try to wipe it up real good. It looks clean, right? Nothing's really coming off on the towel. This will have a slight oil film and this should have nothing. So these two have no oil film on them. So I'm gonna use a new set of rubber gloves just to make sure I don't contaminate any of this with oil. So all I'm gonna do is dip the end of the bolt. Just dip the end of the bolt inside the epoxy. Make sure it's got a coat of epoxy on it and then make it stick. The epoxy has had several days to dry. With that being said, whenever I dip the bolts into the epoxy and place them on this metal, um, some bolts had more epoxy than others, so it's not a perfectly fair test. So what I do think we can determine from this video is whether or not it matters if the surface of the metal is clean or not. Okay, five pounds. Seven and a half pounds. So let's take a closer look at each one of the testing categories and figure out why each one of these failed. I'll be using a torque wrench which measures in inch pounds, not foot pounds. I have a bigger torque wrench if we need it. Sixty five inch pounds. Hundred and sixty five inch pounds. The next test is going to measure impact, and I'm going to be using a three quarter inch wrench, and what I'm going to do is drop this wrench a very short distance. I'm going to use the round end of the wrench, just drop a short distance and allow it to make impact with this bolt to see how many times I'm going to go up to 10, 10 impacts before I go to a heavier wrench. I have to admit, I had no idea it made such a huge difference to make sure a surface is properly sanded as well as cleaned. It made a tremendous difference. The lesson I learned for myself 
because there's no point in me even using an epoxy unless I'm going to take time to properly clean as well as sand. Now, I, I didn't even properly clean this time. I should have used alcohol or acetone or something to clean the area that says sanded and clean, and I didn't. All I did was just sand it. So it would have been even a better bond had I used some sort of chemical cleaner. Hey, if you're interested in seeing future types of tests like this, could you please leave a comment and let me know? Folks would like to see me test different types of epoxies that work on plastics, as well as glass, and, and as well as putty epoxies. And if you're interested in those, please let me know. I won't do the video unless I get a lot of responses. I just don't want to waste anyone's time, and, and it's cost me a lot of money to make these videos. And um, I don't want to spend all the money if people really don't want to watch those videos. With all that being said, um, I hope you'll consider giving me a thumbs up if you think this was a good video. If there's something I could do better, would you please let me know? Anyway, until next time, just want to say thank you very much for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you then.